Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. We're going to get into some NFL action for week 15 as the regular season is getting close to the end, a few more weeks left, and playoff positioning is still up in the air. So there's a lot of good games to look at. We're going to take a look at five of them. But before we do, I want to invite you to join so you have access to the VIP club section, which has all the tools here across the board here to help you make your picks. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these games here. And again, we're going to take a look at five of them. A lot of good games. You can take a look at any of these or all of them uh, as you wish. But we're just going to take a look at five of them for today. And the first one we're going to take a look at is... Now, let's see. We'll scroll down here. Lots of games here. Full schedule. We're going to look at uh, Houston versus Tennessee. Houston comes in average status winners of four out of their last six. But they have lost two out of their last three, including... An embarrassing 30-6 to six loss to the Jets. While Tennessee is ice cold up, winners of two out of their last three, but they're just 2-4 and four over their last six. But their win of 28-27 over Miami on the road was pretty impressive. Tennessee comes in as a 3.5-point favorite, odds of minus 169 to plus 137. The over-under is set at a rather low 36.5. Uh, the teams have been trending in games uh, kind of opposite on the opposite sides of the line. You see Houston, three, of the, three out of their last four have been under the line. Whereas Tennessee, three out of their last four has been over the line. The score prediction has Tennessee by a 28 to 22 margin. The confidence in the prediction, eh, 66%, not real low, not extremely high. Take a look at this as it gets closer and closer to the game time. Uh, an important thing to note here in the hot trends is that Houston has covered the spread every time in the last five games as an underdog. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, Houston is at plus 23, while Tennessee is down near the bottom here right now at plus 3. Head-to-head, -head, the teams did not yet play this season, so that's not really going to be much of a consideration when uh, making this pick for today. If we take a look at the movement on the money line, you can see here that the Titans opened at uh, 2.36. And look at the big movement in the money line. There's been huge movement in the money line. It is now at 1.59 for Tennessee. So um, in the end, the way I'm looking at this, though, is I do like Houston to win this, though. I have a good feeling about Houston. I like Houston to win this one. And I think it's going to be a higher scoring than 36.5. So let's go with Houston and over the line. Kansas City and New England at one time, that would have been a uh, key matchup. Not, not these days, the uh, way New England is playing. I'm going to scroll down here. Giants and the Saints, no. Not going to take a look at that one. Jets and the Dolphins. Here we go. The Jets are coming in dead up. They're coming off of that one win, but they are just one in five over the last six. While Miami is average status, coming off of a loss, but four and two over their last six. You can see Miami is a huge favorite. Uh, nine and a half points. Odds of minus 476 to plus 342. The over-under is, again, a rather low 37.5 in this one. Miami has been involved in games over the line in each of the last three. And New York, two of the last three have been over. So... Going the under is probably not going to be the way I'm going to go with this, but we'll get to that pick at the end. Um, game winner pick, you see uh, Miami is a five-star game winning pick here. And Miami, picking Miami over the last six games has been very profitable for people. 83% winning rate predicting them over the last six. The score prediction has Miami in a blowout 45 to 18. Confidence in the prediction is very high at 87% in this one. And in head-to-head -head matchups earlier this season, Miami won over the Jets by a comfortable, well, comfortable, it was a blowout on the road, really, a 21-point win on the road. I'm not really seeing much different in this one. I like uh, Miami by at least two touchdowns, and this is going to be a higher-scoring game. So Miami in a game over the line. Tampa Bay and Green Bay. Green Bay is coming in average status, coming off of a loss, but they are 4-2 and two over the last six. And Tampa Bay is on a little bit of a streak here, winners of their last two. Although, I mean, the last game against Atlanta was an impressive win on the road. Their game against Carolina expected with Carolina being as bad as they are. Um, the over-under in this game with Green Bay being a three-and-a-half point favorite is at 41.5. And you see the odds are minus 182 to plus 147 in favor of Green Bay. The score prediction has Green Bay by a single point, 29-28, with confidence of prediction of rather low, 43%. But if we take a look at the recommendations, it is a very high chance, 92%, in a tight game that might be decided by one goal. 
So, I mean, this could be a game where Tampa Bay covers. And if you notice, in the hot trends, Tampa Bay has covered the spread in 80% in the last five games as an underdog. So everything's falling into place for that to happen once again. If you take a look at the uh, the line movements, you can see the money line here. This is the Packers money line. Started at 1.549 minus 182. And you can see there's been some movement. But again, look what happened here. It's, it's leveled back out to where it started. So in the end, no change. So I do like this one to be a win for um, Green Bay. I do like the Packers win by a field goal, but that means that Tampa Bay will cover, and I like this game to be over the line. San Francisco and Arizona. I'm not going to look at that one. Arizona is just putrid. Washington or the Rams, really no bearing on the standings in that one. Cowboys and the Bills. This is the game of the day. The Bills come in average status, 2-1 and one over the last three. The Cowboys are burning hot after a big win over Philadelphia. Um, Buffalo is the favorite by, uh, what is it here, two and a half points. Odds of minus 133 to plus 110. And the over-under set at 50.5. In the over-under category, you can see the teams have been trending on opposite sides of the line. Um, the score prediction is for Buffalo, 26 to 19. High level of confidence in the prediction of 82%. So if that would hold, uh, the 45-point total would be under the line. Um, if you look at the hot trends, it's a 67% chance of winning. Um, I should say 60%, 7% winning rate percentage, excuse me, over the last six Buffalo Bills games. And um, let's take a look at some of the other things here. The power ranks indicator shows Dallas is at plus 30, while Buffalo is at plus 14 at the moment. The stability factor, how consistent have the teams been performing with regard to their favored underdog stats? Look at this, Dallas at plus 10. Very, very consistent. Much more so than the Buffalo, which is more moderately consistent at plus two. But Dallas has been consistent with their status. Their status is an underdog. You see where I'm going with this. I do like Buffalo. I do like Buffalo at home to win and cover. I really kind of feel like last week's game against Philadelphia was the Super Bowl for Dallas. I just kind of feel a letdown in this one for them. I think Buffalo at home has the advantage. So go with, let's go with Buffalo in this one. Baltimore and Jacksonville. And this will be another good one here. Baltimore comes in burning hot winners of their last three, while Jacksonville has lost their last two. And we'll see if they can turn it around here. But Baltimore comes in as a favorite by three and a half points with odds of minus 169 to plus 137. And the over-under is set at 42.5. The teams have been trending in games mostly uh, over the line lately. And look at this here. You can see here that uh, Baltimore is a five-star game winner pick as a three and a half point favorite. If you look at the hot trends, it's an 83% winning rate predicting the last six Baltimore Ravens game. And uh, Baltimore has won 80% as a favorite status in the last five. So everything's pretty much in line for Baltimore here. One thing to look at is that there's a very high chance of 86% that the game is decided by one score or less. So this score prediction of 32 to 19, uh, 32 to 17 might be a little bit uh, too big of a margin. I'm kind of agreeing that that would be too big of a margin. Um, on the power ranks indicator, Baltimore is at plus 31 and Jacksonville is at plus 25 on, on opposite trends. The stability factor, you can see that both teams have been pretty consistent, not extremely consistent, but pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status at 5-4. to four. If we take a look at any movement in the money line over the week, you can see it opened at 1.34 for um, Baltimore. And you can see there's been some movement, not drastic movement, but there's been some movement in the line. It is now at 1.592. So in the end, I do like Baltimore to win this one. I think it's going to be a touchdown game, not, not a two-touchdown game like the Scorpion, but I think it's going to be a comfortable win for Baltimore by a touchdown in a game over the line. And then there's Philadelphia and Seattle. You can take a look at that as you wish. That's going to be a, a pretty good matchup as well. Um, so there you have it. Those are the games for this week in the NFL. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.